Apple releases iOS 7.1 beta for developers with some minor enhancements. Some Android source code reveals some plans for their enhanced camera features. And yes, even Qualcomm brings us their own smartwatch. I'm Jaime Rivera. And yeah, 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 I missed you guys too. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Google has just updated their Windows Phone search application. Uh, and yeah, if this were another platform, we wouldn't be celebrating, but since both these companies haven't really gotten along well with their whole YouTube quarrel, it's great to see that something has happened. I mean, you're not getting Google now still, but at least you're getting the enhanced voice search aside from the same aesthetics from the Google application that we currently see on iOS and Android. Hopefully we will be seeing some enhancements in the future since you can finally even log on now with your Google account. And speaking of Google, we've got some source code leaks from Android 4.4 KitKat. And as it turns out, the company is working hard on bringing us a new, completely revamped service for their photos, which hallelujah, I mean, that was greatly needed right now in KitKat and we're finally getting it. Apparently we're getting support for raw photographs, which is great, aside from a new complete UI and new APIs as well for the camera. Uh, the problem is we obviously don't know when we're getting it, but it's great to see that they're finally working on it. As the Nexus 5 has a great lens and software just doesn't match it. Now let's talk about Qualcomm and not about smartphone processors. The company is bringing us a smartwatch. It's called the Talk, as in T-O-Q. I hope I pronounced that right. And what makes this smartwatch special is that you'll get an always-on display. You'll also get Bluetooth stereo support, aside from the fact that it's also got great wireless charging, so they say, aside from Android support as well. But sadly, we still don't know what to expect from this thing. It will be released on Cyber Monday, and it will join the crazy price tag of $350 dollars like the Galaxy Gear so good luck with that. Now let's talk about Apple as the company has just rolled out iOS 7.1 beta to developers, which is really interesting. We don't have any Apple events that are coming, or at least none that we know of, and we're getting a newer .1 update, which usually has an event every single time. And apparently the updates are minor bug fixes, but also some enhancements to Notification Center, to Photo Stream, and some new keyboard options, which is interesting. We just don't know, obviously, what to make of it. This beta could be leading to a beta 2 eventually, so there could be more to report on this. We'll keep you posted. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, analysts are currently pounding the iPad mini with Retina display that was just launched a couple of days ago. Our review will be out very soon and we'll confirm this in text and in our video, but so far, it seems that this tablet has terrible display quality. Apparently, it's got half the color gamut of the Nexus 7. Yeah, half the color gamut, which would be a third of the color gamut of the iPad Air, which would mean the color reproduction on this thing is terrible. So that leads me to the question of the day. Um, did you buy an iPad mini with Retina display? Do you believe this? Have you tested it out? Have you seen this? Do you feel that it's worth your money? Because in my particular case, for $400 for that tablet, compared to the Nexus 7, I would expect something out of this world extraordinary, not this terrible thing that they're complaining about. So leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on fuckingout.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.